What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last battle, or our last episode, we have won our very first gym badge, and well, let's go right ahead and take a look at this badge. Now, I'm going to be using my little clicker right here to open this ticker, and well, look at this. We got ourselves our very first badge, and one thing that I really didn't like about this game was that, well, how we had to shine it and all that stuff, so... Let's go ahead and shine it and yes in the remakes you can actually shine this thing to make it like super sparkly as you guys can see bam now if you guys were with me when I was Draven XC 7-eleven and I, it took me like literally four years to finish the Pokemon Platinum walkthrough uh, You guys probably already noticed that yes, I never really shined the hell out of this uh, of The gym badge it was like seriously. It was literally going going dusty and all that crud so as you guys can see it is four shiny. I think I already outshined it and all that stuff. So hopefully it will stay shiny like that. Anywho, let's get the heck out of here. Now off screen, I did buy myself a few uh, super repels or a few repels and a few uh, what was it called? Um, a few super potions. Now there is one little thing that I needed to do. Yeah, there was something that I needed to do, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we are back, guys. Now, the thing that I forgot was I needed to grab a Pokemon that can learn Rock Smash, because now we are allowed to use it. And, well, as you guys can see, thud. Whoops, Draven. <laughs> you got the gym badge, huh? Eternity City is the next place with the gym that gives away badges, right? Hmm. So, yeah, I went through Route 207, but you can't, get a, you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughened him up, and so I didn't waste it. Or I didn't waste, so I didn't waste time and anything. So I'm going back to Jubilee City. Next stop is Eternity City badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. But who, who's got the time to count? Okay, well, that kid, he is a bag of uh, crazy cats right there. Now, the reason why we got ourselves the a Pokemon with, uh, what was it, Rock Smash, was because we kind of want to do something right here. Now, let's see, let's go right ahead and use one of these repels, obviously, you know, that's always good for us. And let's go ahead and break this apart, because eventually it's going to lead us towards another entrance right here. And, well, kind of want to grab some stuff while we're at it. As you guys can see, you do need Rock Smash for this whole thing. So let's go right ahead and break the mold on everything right here. Look at that, there it is. And, well, grabbing this, we found ourselves the TM70 Flash. Yes, guys, in Generation 4, Flash is now a TM. And, uh, believe it or not, you can actually buy yourself more TMs or more Flash TMs eventually going into, I want to say, what was, the, what was the name of the city? Completely forgot. So let's go ahead and use another Repel. And get past this guy. Grab this, and here we got ourselves a big pearl. That right there will actually, you know, will give us a little bit more money. Now, if you talk to this person, do you see those bumps on the ground? It feels awesome taking those uh, those fast on a bi bicycle. Now, the only problem is that we can't go past, we can't go further. So, yes, we're going to have to get out of here. So, I will be right back with you getting out from the Orberg or from this part right here. See you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back in Route 203 and well, there's quite a few things that we want to do. Not this one because yes, we're going to be finding ourselves an Abra. We already got an Abra. The only thing is uh, we're not going to really use it and well, the Intimidate is pretty cool even though it's not a physical attacker. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going straight back to Jubilife. And, you know, there are a few Pokemon that we want to capture, but we can't just yet. But as you guys can see, Looker is going to be looking at us. He's going to be like, tell me, have you not obtained the Palpad? It's not a Palpad free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement. Hmm. Anyway, there appears to be no one shading in this Jubilife city. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere. But my friend, I suggest you remain vigilant and shady of, of for shady grown-ups. Okay. We will do that, and... Well, let's see. The next place we need to go to is going up north, and... Well, something is afoot. A big foot. Mr. Man's like, now, 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 now. Professor Rowan, you must comply. Hand over all your research findings for free, naturally. Failure to comply will resort in a painful time for your assistant. And we are noticed, and, well, Professor Roman's like, Ah, Draven, well, how is the Pokedex progressing? Hmm, that's the Orberg Gym Badge, I see. 
but uh, hadn't I given your, you your first Pokemon only recently? Perhaps being a trainer is like a second nature to you. Uh, the mystery man is just like feeling offended. He's like, oh, professor of Pokemon? You must, uh, must you be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business because this is a work for us. What are we saying is, what, what we're saying is a demand, or we demand you comply with our demands. Quiet, you lot. Why must you be so uh, such a nuisance? Let me uh, li let me list uh, some lessons to you, or let me list some lessons you still need to learn. Number one, don't loiter about for no good reason. Number two, don't interrupt others while they're attempting to converse. Number three, if you don't get your way, don't raise your voice too intimidating. And number four, don't think that you've uh, that you've grown strong just because you're in a group. Oh yeah, there's a number five. What is the what is it with these outlandish outfits you have on? Ha! Huh, my goodness. You call yourselves adults? You kids don't grow up to be like these sorry specimens. Wow, <laughs> he is really dishing it out. Eh, you had to make this personal. You have forced our hand in making a, a show force. We will make you regret insulting Team Rocket or Team Galactic, my bad. I'm still stuck on those guys. You kids give these thugs a lesson of civility, please. Draven, let's battle together. Okay, so we're double battling, I guess, I don't know. Yes, we are double battling, and you're going to be seeing a lot of that here in Pokemon Platinum. If uh, you guys remember, in Pokemon... Uh, what? Okay, so I've only played Pokemon Diamond and Pearl one time. Not much... Uh, well, it, this is very, very different from, uh, you know, from the, the original games and all that stuff. There's a lot of double battles here in Pokemon Platinum. A lot of double stuff, you know, get to find a lot of people and all that stuff. So just keep an eye out for that. And, well, look at this. Electrostar, learn Spark. Okay, so it looks like we got an electric type move. How is this mass man is possible? That's right. We have defeated you. Okay, so what's next? You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. We shall do, uh, we shall do so because Team Galactic has been benevolent to all. Okay, all right. That lot, they call themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be studying that power's potential. They want to know if it can be used as an energy for something. Draven, did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. Well. Maybe that's the reason those people trying to take the professor's uh, research data by force. That's really unforgivable. It's all over. You can uh, relax now. Still, thanks to you two, uh, nothing came of the situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Draven, kudos to you for ba your battling skill. It got me thinking, why don't you collect all the gym badges in Sinnoh? Doing so, you will, be, you'll, you will sure encounter lots of Pokemon. That, of course, means your Pokedex pages will continuously fill up. In other words, it will be a great help to my research. That said, I've given you your first Pokemon and Pokedex as you yours to keep. You're free to do with with them as you wish. Take care now. Okay, alrighty. So, what the heck? This guy's gonna be like, oh, that's uh, that was very cool. Nicely done. Truly excellent. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm from Jubilife TV. I'd like you to have something for letting me see that smashing battle. And here we get ourselves a fashion case. Something that we're probably not going to be using. And of course, contained in that fashion case, you will find a whole spectrum of chick accessories, tasteful backdrops. Dress up your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow. And right now, the TV station is offering its facilities to visitors can dress up their Pokemon. There are, there are also prize giveaways too. Please do visit our TV station. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back and well, it is time for us to move on right here. And well, here we are in Route 204. Now, there will be some Pokemon here that you can actually capture. I probably wanted to capture a Pokemon here uh, early on when I was, you know, starting up the whole thing, but it was nighttime. So it would have, what, what a good time to do so right now. Um, let's see. So, Bidoof is one of these Pokemon I want to capture, not for the team, but just for, you know, its purposes of teaching it uh, any kind of move I want. So, let's go right ahead and capture this guy. And Bidoof, our Lord and Savior, has now been caught. And look at this. It is the Plump Mouse Pokemon. 
A comparison revealed that Bidu's front teeth grow at the same rate as Radita's. Okay, so yeah. Let's go with Bidu right here. That's a pretty good Pokemon. And, well, here's an item. Let's go ahead and grab that. And look at this, a free paralysis heal. That's always nice. Let's get the heck out. And, well, I want to... Well, I want to do something right here. Yes, let's go right ahead and put back the Geodude into the PC and then just keep the Bidu. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so we're back at Route 204. And before we battle anybody, let's go right ahead and switch it up to Starblade right here. And uh, let's go right ahead and start battling some more people. Okay, how's it going? Oh, a weak-looking trainer. Do you, uh, do you have to go? Yes, we have to go. All right, us weak-looking trainers, let's go. We're taking on last Sarah. She's coming out with a Shinx, and I may have made a mistake, but guess what? We're going to go with a wing attack right here, and just like that, we win. That's right, weak-ass trainer right there. Now, we can't do anything right now because we have no surf, so let's go right ahead and continue on right here with another youngster, I guess. I'll beat you with the magic card my dad gave me. Wow, your dad... <laughs> your dad must hate you if he gave you a magic card. So let's go ahead and speed this up. And, you know, we could have just caught... We could have just caught a magic card ourselves, too. So there we go. Another... There we go. Okay, and just like that, Starblade. Kicking butt, taking names, doing things. Yes. Okay, so let's see. There might be an item right here. No, there's not. Okay. So we're going to go through the grass, and yes, purposely we're going to be getting attacked by a Pokemon. And one of these bo Pokemon happens to be Wurmple. Pretty good Pokemon. Don't want anything to do with it, but guess what? We're going to go with HP. We're going to go with the experience shares right there, and well, let's go ahead and battle this lady right here. May I please trouble you for a battle? Okay. So let's speed it up, and well, she has a Bidu. As many of you guys already know, Bidu is one of a uh, pretty good... It's a pretty good Pokemon. And there we go. We have defeated a Bidu. And Starblade grows to level 11. And yes. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So that's uh, another level right there for us. And speaking of Bidu... Let's see. Let's go ahead and find this Bidu. Now, another thing that you guys have to know is that you... You do have to see every single Pokemon that you meet going into... What was it? Okay, so where are we at? Um, okay, so the map is... Okay, so it's right there. Okay, let me see where I'm at because, yes, this map is always confusing. So, let's see. Going straight to the key items right here. And going to the town map. And it looks like we are in the area of Badoo. So... Check this out, guys. You do have to, you do have to see every single Pokemon within Sinnoh in the first try of uh, what was it called uh, of, of your run through right here, because eventually it will lead you to the next big thing. And crap, we got a simple. The Pokemon is prone to wild stat changes. Okay, so that this is not the Pokemon we need. But guess what? We're gonna be doing some stuff here off screen. So. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we found ourselves a Badoo. And, yes, this is the next Pokemon on our list because, well, you know, you guys already saw Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. This Pokemon is very useful going into, well, you know, in more battles than once. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going with the Heal Ball right here. And, uh, yes, look at this. Look at that. Throwing in the heal ball, we will not worry about a single thing because this Pokemon will be healed up by the time it's captured. And well, look at this. We got him. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take a look at a Badoo. So as you guys can see, Badoo, the Bud Pokemon. So instead of changing temperature, the Bud is the Bud is said to bloom when it feels the sun's warm touch. That is pretty cool right there. Now, what we're going to be doing right here is we're going to be nicknaming our Pokemon. As many of you guys already remember, this Pokemon will be nicknamed a pretty cool one. So, everybody, say hello to Rosemon, because eventually it evolves into a Rose. There we go. Rosemon, welcome to the team. Alrighty, guys. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Rosemon, right here. So, we went off screen to capture a female version of it because, well, you know, we kind of like it, we kind of like it to match with the whole Rosemon, Digimon thing, female and all that stuff. Do not worry, guys, this whole team is not going to be an all-female version of it. We're going to we're going to make some changes, okay? So, as you guys can see, Badoo, Rosemon, it is both a grass and poison type Pokémon. 
And well, as you guys can see, it has a bold nature. And the other thing too, it does have poison point, which means anybody who makes contact with this Pokemon may be poisoned. And it only has one move for right now. That is sure to change. Now, one big thing about Rosemont or Badoo is that it can evolve in the daytime due to friendship. So now this is where, you know, this is where we make uh, the magic happen. This is probably where we're going to be doing a lot of switch battling, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of training and all that stuff just because, well, you know, we're Draven. We like to do that stuff. So anywho, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. There are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I think they, I think a Pokemon's hidden ability move will maybe... We'll be able to smash those boulders, though. Okay, so let's go right ahead and do this. Okay, so we got to teach one of these Pokemon Rock Smash, and obviously we got Bidoof, or we got we got our good old buddy Bidoof right here. So there it is. And, well, let's see. Grab this. Here we got ourselves a potion. Now, before we go, there is a section right here where you can actually find another item including a big water, a big land of water right here. But unfortunately, we cannot do anything about it right now. And as you guys can see, yes, we are keeping up with the training with our Badoo. And well, you know, Electrostar doing its thing, kicking butt, taking names and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and grab this. Here we found ourselves the TM39 Rock, uh, Rock Tomb, which, you know, can be useful for us. And here we have a Psyduck. Okay, so we're going to try and beat this guy right here. And that right there is not going to do it. So we need to switch out our Pokemon. Yes, yeah, so you're going to be seeing some in-game uh, training and all that stuff. So here we go. Spark Attack for the win. And Badoo, Rosemond grows to level 4 right there. So let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here. Break these rocks. And just like that, bam. Look at that. Okay, so we're getting the heck out of here. And here we are back in Route 204, and are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you're only raising the same type of Pokemon, you'll be you'll have a hard time against the, its types it's weak to. Which is true, that's why, you know, I'm having a hard time trying to figure out a good team. I, I realize that in Pokemon Platinum... Yeah. In Pokemon Platinum, the fire types are very scarce, and there is one fire type Pokemon that I do want to use. But it is required by tra by a trade. So, yeah, we're going to have to X-Nay on that. And look at that. Rosemond growing levels quickly. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Cherubi. So, to me, it's looking like I'm probably going to have to improvise with the Pokemon typing that I, I come out with in this walkthrough. I've You guys have normally seen me come out with some uh, pretty interesting Pokemon. And well, I kind of feel like I need to get out of my comfort zone just a tad bit in order to make things happen. And as you guys can see, Rosemon is growing levels like crazy, so that's pretty good. It's sure to be happy. And yeah, we're coming upon a spot right here where we can actually get ourselves a Soothe Bell. Hey, hey, let me show off my bug Pokemon. Okay, so here we are, speeding it through. And Badoo is already at level seven, so let's go right ahead and just switch out to good old Starblade right here and go with the wing attack. And Rosemon grows to level, level eight, so let's go back to Rosemon again. And going straight to Starblade. Starblade taking half the HP and all that stuff. And just like that, we win again. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's see. There is a spot where you can cut. And there are some twins looking at us. We can be, or we can one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? They're the strongest, uh, we're the strongest in the class. True. True. Very, very true. Okay, so here we are taking on Liz and Liv, and they're going to be coming out with a Pachirisu right here. Now, eventually, I kind of want to capture a Pachirisu, not just because, well, you know, it's electric-type Pokemon, but it does have the ability, um, the ability called, what was it called, uh, Pickup, something that we probably need, and, well, what we're going to do is we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here. Go with Poseidon, and let's go, not with that, but let's go with a Metal Claw. And there we go. Let's go right ahead and, uh, yeah, we have nothing to, yeah, we got nothing for Electro-type Pokemon right now. So we're doing the same thing. And these guys will not go away. So here we go. Wing attack. We're easily chopping it up right here. Look at that. Okay, there's one down. Rosemon grows to level 9. And there's Rosemon at level 10. Learning Stun Spore. Very good move. And Starblade earning its keep at level 13. And it's finally learning Double Team, so let's go right ahead and switch out a move right here. 
Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take away Growl. Okay, so there we go. We have defeated the twins. And, well, there could be an item right here. And there it is, an item. Grabbing this, found ourselves the TM-09, which is Bullet Seed. This will be very useful for Rosemon. And, well, here we are, guys, Florama Town. So what we're going to do right now, guys, is we're going to, you know, heal up our Pokemon. And we'll be right back with you. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Florama Town, and well, if you guys are playing the remakes, you'll be finding a couple right here that will be able to give you some legendary Pokemon, but this place is vivid and scented, so it looks like we're going to be having a great time right here. So let's go ahead and pick out some berries. Yes, we got ourselves some berries. I think this is like the first time we're getting berries? I don't even know. Let's go right here, grabbing these berries. Yes, we got ourselves some berries too, and... Well, let's see. Let's go straight in here, and if we talk to, I would like to say her. Let's see. Single berry will grow into a plant that makes several berries. My, by planting one, there will be more and more berries in the world. I hope you help us spread more berries everywhere. And there we go. We got ourselves a Pekka berry, Petra berry. I don't even know. Let's see if we talk to her. Hello. Would you like to exchange your berries for some accessories? And uh, yeah, we're not doing that. Of course, the accessories will come a little bit later. Now, if you talk to her, trainer, please water berries using the spray uh, spray duck water can. And there we go. Got ourselves a spray duck water can. And well, let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here. Now, Florama Town, not big on uh, a whole bunch of stuff, but there is something afoot right here. Aren't we Team Galactic? And are we assigned here? Standing around around flowers, it doesn't seem real all that cool. Hey now, don't complain. This is a pretty sad, decent assignment. But bug and grass Pokemon so creep me out. I don't like being here either. Huh. Well, apparently there is something afoot. Now, I wonder if we've went through here. And, well, if you talk to this lady. Flamma Town was a barren, desolate hill long ago. Avoided even by Pokemon. People started planting flowers on it because it, had, it was a, such a sad place. But nothing would grow. People didn't know how to do... And then one day someone expressed thanks for the blessings of nature. Then the whole hill burst into a bloom. Doesn't that sound a little too familiar? Talk to her and do you think it's cute how Pokemon pluck berries? Yes, please agree. Here's a TM day with the move pluck. And here we get TM88, which is pluck. And I do believe it's a move where like, you know, depending on the kind of berry you have, it's, yeah, definitely going to make some noise right there. And well, let's see. Talk to these people. Let's see. What do we have right here? Some kinds of Pokemon uh, appear only if they are attracted by a sweet scent of honey. And Pokemon's, Pokemon must have a cute sense of smell. They can sense the aroma of honey from a very far away. That is so goddamn true. So, let's go right ahead and move on into the next town right here, or next area, which is Route 205. And, as always, we're going to be grabbing some berries because, well, who, who doesn't love berries? Well, I don't like the person Barry. You guys know what I mean. And, well, there is a girl right here looking uh, beyond, and she's going to be like, Help, help, trainer, please! I want to see my papa. My papa and I lived in the Valley of Windworks, but the whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. They kicked me out, and they were making my papa do something. Please, trainer, I miss my papa. Okay, so where's her papa? Who's about to catch these hands? And, well, here we are in the Valley Windworks. And we're going to be getting ourselves a potion, which is always nice. And if you talk to this guy, he's like, Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got order to keep everyone out if they are not a part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me uh, think that you're going to try and get in. Okay, then. You'll have to battle, if, battle me for it. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on another trainer, and that is Galactic Grunt. And, well, let's go ahead and speed it up now that we are buffed up. And, well, here we go with Bullet Seed. That's not going to be strong enough, so... We got to switch it up to Poseidon right here. And that scratch attack won't work. So here we go. Water. We're going to go with Bubbles. Le Bubbles. And just like that, we're getting some more points. And we have defeated a Team Aqua or Team Galactic member. And he's like, isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. But you can't do uh, you can't do a thing. Uh, can't do a thing if you if I lock myself with the Gorks key. That's right. There are, there, are, there are, The other Gorks key is not here. My cohorts in Flower Patch have the only other one. <laughs> in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Okay, so yeah, he 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 likes to play around. Now, if you guys remember, if you go right here on a certain uh, a certain day, 
of the week. A specific Pokemon will make its works right here, and you'll be able to capture it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to heal up our Pokemon, and we're going to go back into the flower area. That way we can actually get the key. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back at Florama Town. Now, off screen, I went in and captured myself a Pachirisu, mainly because, well, I need its pickup ability in order to grab some rare items. Yeah, we're gonna be need we're gonna be needing some rare items right here. So here we are in the Florama Meadow, and we see two grunts just going at it with this guy right here. He's like, "Enough arguing! Hand over the sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers." Oh, and they're looking at us. He's like, "Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? We don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution is simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet. And well, here we are battling." And it is going to be a one-on-one -on -one battle, so let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and not do that, because Stunky, as many of you guys already know, bane of my existence. And we're going to go with a bubbly attack. It wants to fart on us. That's not cool. And here we go. Bubble attack. Does its trick, and we win. Alrighty, so... Yeah, he is not liking it, so... The, yeah, grunt number two right here is going to be looking at us, and he's going to be like, Alright, let's get this. Okay, so here we go. Team Galactic Grunt coming out with its uh, Zubat, and well, let's go with Electro Star. Now that we got the uh, Pokemon typing right here, and look at this. Spark Attack. Spark Attack again. And just like that, we have defeated another Team Galactic Grunt. He's like, that bread's tough. Like, really, really tough. Tougher than I can put words, and I know a, a lot of words. We're done here. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Okay, and this guy is going to be looking at us. He's like, oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a work ski. It must be for the Valley Wintworks. It's of no use to me. You may have it. And there we go. We grabbed ourselves a work ski. And well, we saved this guy. And well, after like after saving him, he's gonna be giving us some sweet, sweet honey, which many of you guys already know can attract some Pokemon. Certain Pokemon throughout the whole region right here. One of them being Munchlax, Combi, and all that stuff. And if you find a tree just like this, colored like this. You will be able to slap some honey and then attract those specific Pokemon. Obviously, I'm not looking into that. And, well, if you put honey on the tree, yes. Okay, so yes. It will be a rare Pokemon. One of them rare Pokemons, Munchlats and all that stuff. And, uh, well, Combi. I don't know what else. Apom? Apom's another one. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I haven't played this game in quite some time. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and go back to the Valley Wormwork and take care of business right there. So we're going to be speeding through this. Look at that. Gattaca. Okay, so here we are in the Valley Wormworks, about to beat some booty, and here we go. Yes, we're opening up. And who's the loser now? Look at that. He's like, what? No way! You have the key. Locking the door was meaningless. I am, lo I am the loser after all this. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Yeah, he's got to alert the commander. So, here we are going into the next portion of the Valley Windworks. And what we're going to do now is start battling a lot of trainers. And, well, many of you guys already know, we're going to speed this through. And, well, a lot of these battles are going to be... Yeah, a lot of these battles are going to be speed uh, sped through. And, well, as you guys can see, we are already confused. And there we go. Spark Attack does it. Rosemont grows to level 12 and Electro Star level 14. Now, our goal is to try and evolve Rosemont pretty soon, right here. So, keeping it first usually gives it, you know, usually gives it that little push. So, let's go right ahead and switch out to Starblade and battle this next guy. He's like, collecting electricity from the Valley Wind Works. That's our mission. Yeah, don't say. Okay, so here we go, taking on Galactic Grunt, and well, he's gonna be coming out with some Glam Yell right here, so here we go, Wing Attack, Wing Attack, and there we go, okay, so Stunky's gonna be coming out next, Poseidon, let's get this, let's go with the Bubbly Attack, Metal Claw, and just like that, we defeat another Team Galactic Grunt, and well, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here, let's see, we got quite a few potions, and, uh, well, let's see. Going back to Rosemont. Let's get this Pokemon right here. And let's go right ahead and see what this whole uh, situation is all about. And I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait. That's one of four commanders. My name is Mars. I've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. 
So let's have a little battle to decide what to do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we Team Galactic will leave. Okay. So here we go, taking on Team Galactic Commander, Mars, and... Well, she's gonna be coming out with her Zubat. If you guys don't know, Team Galactic does have some Pokemon trainers with, like, the same old Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and speed this up and go straight for a... Wow. Spark Attack does it, and... Well, she's gonna be coming out with a Perugly. Many of you guys already know Perugly. I hate that Pokemon with a god dang passion. And here we go, Metal Claw. This Pokemon is not letting me win. Holy crud baskets. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Let's go with a Super Potion right here. And let's go straight for Le Bubble Attack. Lower its attack, lower its speed. And of course, Perugly is gonna be a, Perugly is a tank of a Pokemon, especially right now. So let's go right ahead, do it again, Bubble Attack. Come on. And finish it off. There we go. And the number of the beast. That gets us the wind. And there you are. Level 19. And here we're learning Bubble Beam. So this one's a much better mo move than Bubble. So let's go ahead and switch it out. And there we go. Bubble Bubble Beam has gotten it. And, well, Commander Mars is not liking this. This can't be. I lost. You uppity brat. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, oops. I messed that one up. That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. And this guy is like, my, my. Lose to a child, will you? But no matter, we've collected plenty of electricity. With the power we have obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. It seems quite obvious to me, Charon, that the genius, even though the boss recognizes it. Now, Mars, we should be going. Will you shut it? The boss is only, the only person in the world who is allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently. Don't you, uh, don't think you're important. Oh, wow. Huh. Dissension, I see. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Okay. So, after doing that, this individual is going to be like, Team Galactic. They were saying that they were, uh, they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new, uniform, a new universe, or they claimed. Nothing they say they said made me sort of sense to me. So let's see. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my I can finally see my little daughter again. And well, there she is, jumping up and down, Papa. Yuck, Papa, you're stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Oh wow. <laughs> Honesty, it is uh, never blind against. It's never blind on the uh, on the youngins. So here we are. He's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> they had me working nonstop. Thank you, trainer. You made me, uh, you made those bad people go away. I think a balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Now, do we... Yeah, he's just giving us an advice that, you know, a balloon Pokemon will be right in front of this whole area right here. That happens to be Driftblim, I think. And, well... We're gonna be healing up our Pokemon, and we're gonna be getting the heck out of here. Now, I believe Driftblim comes, only comes out on Friday, so just keep an eye out for that. And, well, would you look at this? Looker's gonna be looking at us. he's like, Ah, yes! It is you, yes! I have heard that the Team Galactic appeared uh, at this power plant. I have therefore come running. So, the Team... So, Team Galactic, where were they? You have run them off, you say? You're a tra you're You are a trainer, but... Very well, I shall go investigate inside. Huh. Okay, so... He's investigating. I am not moving anything. And, well, he's like, Magnificent! Yes, it is! What you have said, it's all true. Superb. Though you are young, you are a trainer though, through and through. Very well, I shall pursue the, t the culprits. I have received tips that the Team Galactic hideout is, the, it is a, in Eterna City. So to there, I must go off. Okay. So that right there is about it for this episode. And the next episode, guys, we're going to be going all the way, like, we're going to be going north of two, Route 205, going through the Eterna Force, I believe, and then just making our way there. Of course, we're going to be speeding up everything, so thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. See you guys.